Well, howdy there, guys, and welcome in. Come on in. Uh, I'm gonna probably release this video on Financial Education 3, so come on in, folks. Uh, welcome to the house. So I'm gonna give you the house tour of the Arizona house here today. And uh, at the end, we'll talk over numbers. I'll tell you guys exactly uh, you know, how much I put down for this house or if I bought this house cash. I'll tell you exactly how much we paid for this house, what we could sell it for today. We'll run through all the numbers. But uh, anyways, I'm getting a little more into real estate lately. So this is our second property. And then uh, we got a third property being built. The third one's in Vegas right now, which we live in Vegas. But we, you know, my wife and I, we were uh, raised here in Arizona and we come back to Arizona all the time for family and things like that. And a lot of times it's like a very rushed trip. So we thought, let's get a second home out here. I got an office here. I'll show you guys the office in this video too, when we run through those numbers toward the end of the video. And uh, basically I'm excited. So I hope you guys enjoy this tour. If you don't mind, smash a thumbs up. Uh, let me know your opinion on the house in the comments section. If you like it, if you don't like it, you don't hurt my feelings. So, you know, I've been on YouTube long enough, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy this tour and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So. Um, this is obviously the entryway kind of area and this house is about right around 2,000 square feet and what's interesting is this house is half the size of our house in, in Vegas actually. Our, our house in Vegas is 4,000 square feet and I gotta say I like this house better than our, our Vegas house believe it or not and our Vegas house is somewhat newer too. That was built in 2016 but I gotta say this house I like more. So we designed, you know, everything in this house from, you know, the paints and the floors and the lights, even like the light fixture. Um, like I really like that light fixture. Even up here on the top, these light fixtures are huge. I, I think those are just cool, really cool light fixtures. But um, anyways, let's kind of get rolling with this tour. So, um, you know, I'm really excited to show you guys this house here today. Let's start out over here. You have two bedrooms here and a bathroom. So this is kind of like a guest restroom type area. You know, you have people over. This is uh, kind of that bathroom as well as those two bedrooms there. Um, you know, it's a bathroom at the end of the day. But I got to say, you know, like little stuff really I pay attention to in a big way. And like this is something that's a really small thing that very few builders do. You notice how the faucet to put on the shower is over here versus over there. Like most build like like 98 percent of homes you go into the faucets over there you got to put it on then try not to get wet and things like that and i just love like it's just a very subtle thing but it like it adds up to so much so you know that's the type of stuff i really care about in the end but yeah square it off sinks and you know try to get a little more of a modern look so over here we have the next bedroom um obviously uh, just kind of Kids' bedroom, I guess you can say. Bunk bed, still waiting on the mattresses for that one there. Over here, we have the guest uh, bedroom over here. So just when we have guests over, just simple bed. We have a couple, uh, you know, desks there. I don't want to call them desks, I guess you can call them like dressers or whatever, little closet. Very just simple room, fan, like simple, simple. And uh, that's good there. Got a closet here. Over here, we have a uh, washer and dryer. So, washer and dryer, interesting. So, I bought a Samsung washer dryer, Samsung fridge. We'll see how they work. You know, we, we've had Samsung appliances in the past and haven't had, you know, many issues with them. However, I have heard from a lot of other people they have had issues with Samsung appliances. So, um, you know, recently, you know, my buddy Graham, he was posting like a bunch of stuff on Instagram. I think it was, a, you know, a week or two ago. Uh, he was having a ton of issues with like a dishwasher or whatever. So, you know, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have Samsung appliances and if you ever have a lot of issues with them, like more than a normal appliance, or if your appliances have been good from Samsung, I'd love to hear from you guys. Cause I don't really know. Like I said, I've had them and I haven't had issues, but like, I, I know like people around me, plenty of people around me have had issues with them. So. We'll see. But anyways, so this is the main room here. This is the large room. So we have uh, obviously dining room table here. Um, you know, for, for the guests we have over here, the living room area, which, you know, this house, what you're seeing now is like 95% done. We like to, be, you know, kind of try to live a little more minimalist, I guess you can say. So 
we're not going to fill this house up with a ton of, you know, just random stuff. We might put a thing or two on the wall, but we like to keep it as simple as possible, like functional. You know, if you got six, eight people in here, there's, there's plenty of seating for everybody and things like that. If you're having to get together with friends or family, but we don't like to jam pack the house with a million different things and vases all over the place. And all of a sudden you feel like you need to walk around like this or something. So even though it's uh, just 2000 square feet, like there's still plenty of space in here. Uh, plenty of space to, to walk around. Simple, got the TV on the wall, everything we need there. I do have the speakers on the wall and I still need to set that up. So I'll get an amplifier and get all the speaker systems set up. So yeah, we got speakers in the wall. So when I want to listen to a conference call really loud, you know, and I want to hear Elon Musk through the big, the big speakers, you know, I can, I can listen to it through there. So uh, looking forward to that. Over here, we have the kitchen area. With the countertops, um, that you know, I love these countertops. They're just very, very nice. I'm not sure how much of the detail you guys can see in the lighting over in an area like this, with the light hidden off of it. But um, really, really like these countertops. The way the way they came out and whatnot. So oven, microwave over here, the little pantry closet there. They're gonna replace this hood here for us because there's a little dent right there. Um, I wasn't able to do the walkthrough because you guys know I had the Rona a couple weeks ago, so I wasn't able to actually do the walkthrough. So my mom did the walkthrough and my mom, she's much more picky than me. So let's just put it this way. Any little thing, you know, they got to tape it off. They got to get it replaced and things like that. You know, I bet you the, the home builder wishes I would have done the walkthrough because I'm much less picky than my mom. But even that little dent, she wants the hood replaced. So, hey, man, uh, it, it, you know. Thank you, mom. You, you got us a, a new hood with no dent in it. I appreciate you. My mom will never see this video, but if she did, thank you, mom. So anyways, yeah, this is a kitchen area. I, you know, I feel like it's really good space for whatever you need to do. This is the fridge I bought. It's a, you know, Samsung fridge, we'll see. Hope for the best. Uh, over here's the office, the garage. We'll, we'll go through that at the end because it is getting dark out and I want to make sure you guys get to see the backyard essentially before uh, we, we miss all the light here, but so let's go ahead. Let's run through into the backyard and then we'll kind of, uh, you know, go from there, I guess you can say. So let's go on out here. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, evening. Out. We have, uh, I would say it's probably about 70, 72 degrees out, maybe, maybe 74 degrees somewhere in there. And so this is a pool area. Let's go, let's go put the, the fountain on so I can show you guys you know, kind of what the fountain looks like, but um, this is a country club here. It's a private country club. And so there's nobody obviously golfing right now because it's a little late at night, but you know, beautiful, beautiful golf course. And uh, they keep it perfect. I mean, the, the grass, I don't know how well you guys can tell in the video, but that grass is so perfectly green. It's crazy, man. Like every little inch of that grass is just manicured perfectly. So I got to give it to those groundskeepers over there. Like you guys do well, but come on with me. Go ahead and we'll, we'll turn on this fountain over here. But you know, not a huge backyard, obviously. It does the job. I don't spend a ton of time in the backyard, mostly be in the pool when you know we, we do go to the backyard. But um, let's turn on the fountain over there. I think that will turn on the fountain. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying this. this little tour. Yeah, there we go. We got it on. Okay. So fountain's on. Thinking about maybe putting like a little, a little like high table here, maybe something like that. That maybe can just sit four people. We can kind of sit here, uh, maybe with an umbrella over it. Look out to the golf course. You know, and enjoy kind of the, the nice views over there. Let me kind of show you guys a little bit of these views. So, I mean, it's it's really beautiful with the sunsets and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. But but thinking about putting something there, I don't think I'm gonna put anything over here. I don't think I'm gonna put anything in this space. And the reason being is, I just like how you can look out through those glass doors there and there's no like houses in the way or anything to block the view because I really like the way you know this fountain looks with the tiles and so 
I don't want to be in a situation where it just feels cluttered back there. You know, it's tight on space anyways in the backyard. And so, you know, if I put couches here and a bunch of stuff, then it's just a situation where you're going to look at couches instead of looking at the pool and the, and the fountain and with the travertine, I think it looks really nice. So, uh, but anyways, that's the backyard space. Good, you know, excited, you know, it does the job. Let's just put it that way for kind of what I'm looking for, so. We can come back in the house now. Dang, it's definitely, I gotta say guys, it's a lot cooler outside than it is in the house. Let's just put it that way, but. Anyway, so this is a master bedroom. Uh, really, really large room, 12 foot ceilings, way too much space, I'll be completely honest. I mean, uh, just way too much space for a bedroom in my personal opinion, but you know, it is what it is. We'll put a nice TV on the wall there. We already have it, 65 inch there. We just haven't hooked it up yet, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a bedroom at the end of the day, so got the, the chargers all set up, stuff like that. Come on into the restroom. The restroom, I really like the restroom a lot, okay? So, oh, first off, closet. Closet. There's the closet. We only got some of our clothes hooked up so far. Peep the Nordstrom bag. Everybody that owns JWN stock for the past few weeks, you guys are making money hand over fist with me. You know that. Stock's gone from like $12 to, what is it, 20 plus now? Like in a matter of like a couple weeks. So congrats to all the JWN shareholders. But yeah, this is a restroom here. Really like the space. Really like, you know, the sink setup. I think it just looks clean. It looks very spot-esque, I feel. Uh, the shower, I really, really like the shower a lot, I gotta say. So you got the rainfall shower, which really feels like a rainfall. We got a rainfall shower in the, the Vegas home too, but I gotta say this one just feels a lot better. It really just does. It just feels a lot better. Uh, this Delta head is pretty cool. And once again, it's a little stuff. So they put it over here. So you put it on here. You don't have to worry about getting soaking wet, you know, it versus the Vegas home. The Vegas home, you have to put it on here and then you have to be like trying to like get out of there and it's like a game of tag between you and the, the, the water. So it's a little stuff. So I gotta say, you know, this builder did a really, really dang good job. Um, I feel like with the details and the, the details are everything. So even like this soap kind of niche area, look, look at how good of a size it is. You can have plenty of room to put all your, you know, soaps and shampoos and you know, it's just, I like it, man. You can put a gold bar there if you want to, if you're a gold investor, you know, hold some Bitcoin there. Uh, it's just beautiful. But anyway, let's, let's keep moving on the tour. So last, we got to see the garage, the office, talk, the numbers, okay, behind this house and things like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, it's, it, it feels like good to me. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like like, like it's the right amount of furniture, the right amount of space. It just feels like, like solid, you know, four seats here. You got the couch over there, nice big dining table. Uh, I feel like, you know, it's just kind of what I'm looking for as far as that goes. So, um, we'll look at the office last here. So you guys can see the garage. It's just a two car garage. I didn't park the X all the way over there, but, uh, yeah, we got the, we got the X in the garage right now which I'm sure you guys have seen this before once or twice, but. And then we got six figures, seven figure club awards. Those will be going out in the future. Um, but anyways, yeah, well, I think we sent 14 six figure club awards last week and two seven figure clubs. So if any of those people are watching this, congrats to you guys, that's amazing, okay? So this is the office space here. Let me turn the lights on so you guys can see kind of what we're working with here um, in terms of the numbers behind uh, everything here. So once again, this is our secondary house for us. We'll spend some time here, but this is not our full-time residence. That would still be in Vegas, which, you know, I love Vegas. Um, I, you know, I, I love Vegas. I don't know what else I can say about that. I love living there. A lot of people don't go off of the trip, so they don't really know about that, but my intentions are still to spend the majority of time in Vegas. We're building a you know crazy house in Vegas right now. It's gonna be pretty epic. Um, and Grammy Man's gonna be my neighbor over there, so we're just gonna be bouncing YouTube ideas off each other all the time. But uh, I love Arizona too, and so I you know plan to spend a good amount of time here in Arizona. But Vegas, no state income taxes too, so huge advantage. State income taxes aren't crazy here in Arizona, but still, 
Like you're talking about differences of tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars for me every year. That's just extra money I can invest in stocks or real estate, right? So um, as far as the office goes, we just have this desk here, which is a sitting or standing desk. So, you know, it's got all the controls here. So if you want to sit down, you do that. Me, pretty much, I just move that chair out of the way and, and pretty much just, you know, work standing up um, so far, you know. And then I got my two big lights here, got the tripod, and got my whiteboard and this picture, which turned out really nice, so, um, of Arizona. If you guys know, in the, in the, the, whenever I'm in Vegas, I got the Vegas, I got the strip in the background of all my videos. And then here in Arizona, can't have the strip in the background, so I got a picture of City of Phoenix. I think that might be Camelback Mountain there. If I recall, then you got, you know, well, it used to be called Bangalore Ballpark. I don't know what that ballpark is called now. And I've had a cityscape with the mountains there. So, uh, but anyway, so this community is a guard gated community that we live in. Uh, one of the advantages of that is people with money love to live in like guard gated communities, specifically um, in, in places like Vegas, places like Arizona and whatnot. This is a thing that's getting uh, bigger over the past 10 or 20 years. If you live in cities and states that are, been developed for 50, 100 plus years. And you know, you guys might not even have guard gated communities, you might have very few, but in terms of, you know, it's just a, like a new wave over the past 10, 20 years of like, you know, essentially communities you can't even get into unless you're on a list, unless you're a resident there, you have the passes and stuff and the credentials to actually get in. So um, it's really, it's a really big selling point here in Arizona and, and especially in Vegas, it's really, really big. So. Uh, it's in a uh, Guardian community. We're on a private country club. That golf course is a private country club. I think it's like $15,000 or something to join. So I don't mind Christ leading. No, I, I don't play golf enough to spend $15,000 on a country club. And I even like, maybe $30,000, honestly. It's either fifteen dollars or $30,000. I can't remember. But regardless, like that's a lot of money to be spending. You better really love to play golf. But you guys saw that, that course, man. They keep it perfect. So hey, I guess if you're gonna pay that money, you expect the course to be perfect, right? So uh, this is what I would consider the most exclusive community on the west side of Arizona. So in Arizona, as far as like Phoenix metropolitan, you kind of have, you know, most people consider you're either on the west side or you're on the east side. You could be in other areas, but you know, west side, east side, east side, a lot of people say Chandler, Tempe, Scottsdale, Places like that, West Side, you're kind of looking more like Phoenix, Glendale, Peoria, and I can't really think of a, a more exclusive community than this one on the West Side of Arizona. If you're talking about Arizona in general, Phoenix Metropolitan in general. There's definitely much more exclusive communities in Arizona than this community, but you got to go to Scottsdale for that. North Scottsdale, some in South Scottsdale, areas like that. So, but it is the most exclusive if you want to live on the West Side of Arizona. Okay. We didn't buy this couch, this house cash. I would probably never do that, um, to be completely honest, just because interest rates are so ridiculously low. Like, it doesn't really make sense if I can get, you know, double, you know, high double digit returns on stocks like we've been getting the past several years. Heck, even if I could own, let's say I could only get 10%, it still doesn't make sense um, when you're, talk, you're talking about interest rates at like 3%. If interest rates were like 10, 15, 20%, like they were back in shoot part of the eighties, I would probably be buying houses cash, but like, why would I buy a house cash if I could get a 3% interest rate, if not a two point something percent interest rate, we just refied on the Vegas home. And I think that was, a uh, we refied at that 2.7 or 2.8%. Like, it's just like a no brainer. I mean, soon they're gonna be paying us to take out mortgages. So it's unbelievable. So 20% down, 3% interest rate, I got lucky on finding this house. Um, we're, we're extremely in the green in this house. And I gotta say, I got really lucky. So we, we were kind of thinking about potentially buying a house in Arizona for like a second home. And what happened was one day we're driving in this community. I've never really been in like this community of Estancia and whatnot. And we're also, I saw this like pretty like epic, like gates and whatnot. I'm like, hmm. So I drove up there and I spoke to the garden. I was like, hey, is there any houses for sale? And it's like, there's one last community that's for sale. They just started selling homes, blah, 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 blah. And so I came back here. I looked at what you got for the homes. They were just starting. And I was like, this is a steal. Like, this is a really dang good deal. So I ended up starting to kind of work out the numbers and I was able to get some negotiating leverage because it was, a, you know, new at that time. And, um, the, this was a little, just before Rony Rona, but there was starting to be a little bit of talk about it. And I think, you know, some of these builders were starting to get a little bit scared. So I was able to negotiate pretty well on this. 
Uh, but in terms of finding the community, I just got lucky. I wish I could say it was good, but I just got lucky. Uh, I just, and I saw it and I'm like, this is under, this is extremely undervalued. You guys know me. I'm all about finding undervalued assets. And you know, that's obviously um, the situation. So we paid 585,000 for this home. We put about $10,000 in, in terms of stuff that you can't really take out. So like we're going to be tinting all the windows. That's I think three or 4,000. Um, the appliances, I mean, I guess you could take those with you when you sell a house, but I'm just going to include that. So like the fridge and the washer dryer and stuff like that, all those things that are things that you put into a house, you really can't take out. So really our final cost of the house is about 595,000 roughly. That's where we're at for this. We could easily get, if we were, you can't sell this house for a year and we're not interested in selling this house. I plan on, you know, having this be a house we have for many, many years to go in the future, but if we could sell this house, we could get 700 plus thousand, like literally next week. Um, the housing market, you know, in this area is amazing and in, in, in Arizona in general, um, is really, really strong right now. We know there's a neighbor, a few houses down, they paid like 733,000 or something like that. And they have no pool. So they have one less bedroom than us and they have no pool. And they're still on the golf course so you know obviously we, we, if we could be in the 700s they're trying to sell the model home for 729 they'll likely get that that has no pool as well and one less bedroom than our home so you know I, I would say if we were to actually put this on the market we would probably be able to sell it for 725 to 750 somewhere in there roughly right now so i mean if you take out the realtor commission all those sorts of things we would probably be in the plus 75,000 to 100,000 if we wanted to sell us right now. And remember, we just got the keys three days ago. So to say it's been, you know, uh, you know, a really good investment so far would be, um, you know, obviously pretty fair to say it's, it's been very well for us. Whenever you can move into a home and you're already significantly in the plus, like we are in this situation, you know, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Same thing with the Vegas home we're building right now. Um, that home, you know, could get at least um, six figures plus, um, you know, more than, than, you know, what we paid for essentially Graham, the home he got, he could sell that for at least a hundred thousand dollars plus easily more than what he paid. So Graham, if you're watching this, you owe me like at least a hundred thousand, man. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, guys, I hope you kind of enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing the numbers behind it and things like that, the financial education channel. So I love to always kind of talk about the math, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you don't mind, smash the thumbs up, helps out the YouTube channel massively, especially this little teeny small channel, which I think we only have like 13,000 subscribers right now on financial education three. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day. Peace.